Some say the motivation is the belt. Some say motivation is the trophy. Well, I say motivation is the money for me. Because the money was able to put, retire my mother, put my dad in a comfortable, a comfortable position, put my kids in the best area. I come from a rough background. I come from a rough area. Because if you think small, small things happen. I always dream big. I always believe. I believe in my team. I believe in these fighters. I mean, everything you got on costs money. Everything you do costs money. You, you can't take your wife on a date for free. And I'm, and I'm a good person. And I call a spade a spade. Money don't make me, I make money. And without money, I'd be the same person. I fought so many fights for free. You know, I'm always thinking, how can I get better? How can our company grow? How can I continue to teach people around me how to fish and I, and I don't want to fish for them? We teach you how to become entrepreneurs. And if we can't, we want you to be the best that you can be if you're up under the banner. You know, this dream that I had started years and years and years ago, you know, no matter what my dad did, you know, because he done whatever he, he had to do to give me the, a finer life, to give me a better life, to give me the best life that he could give me. And everything happens for a reason. Even when my dad was incarcerated and he went away, I still will hear, hear his words in the back of my mind, continue to work hard. Nothing is gonna come easy. I worked hard, I worked extremely hard to get to this point. And every day I know I'm blessed. I'm truly, truly blessed. And I don't take anything for granted. And nobody in here can take anything for granted. Yes, everyone sees, you know, us on all access or when I, was, when I was with HBO 24-7, they see all the flashiness, all the talking, the trash talking. I had a game plan. And when I say TBE, it's no disrespect to no legendary champion. Because anybody, every fighter that's in this room has to feel that he's the best. If not, you in the wrong sport. People don't understand what it takes these young fighters come in the gym at four and five in the morning and work and bust their because their ultimate goal is to surpass y'all legends because they want to become legends. It was written in the history books for all of us to be here today for, for me to speak my mind and say what I want to say. For me to speak from the heart every day. I would come home and watch every legendary champion, every champion. Larry, Larry Holmes, Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, Mike Tyson, Roberto Duran, Michael Dokes, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad. I mean, this list goes on and on. And I always wanted to, you know, it wasn't one fighter I wanted to be like. Some days I want to fight like Leonard. Some, another day I want to fight like Hagler. But then I want to be, I want to have a style like Tommy Hearns. But then I want to be a killer like Mike Tyson. And then when I took all those different champions, Chavez and Roberto Duran and all these different champions and all these different guys, I said I'm going to take a little bit from every one of them and put it all in one box and shake it up and see what we come up with. And being a champion, I think that even, even though I transcended and changed the sport of boxing, but being a champion is not just receiving a lot of money or, getting a, or receiving a belt, because I did it thousands of times for free before I got to this point. I didn't just want to be a fighter. I, don't want, I wanted to learn the business 
so I can have my own business, so I can have my stable of fighters. We give back, but we don't look to, to the media to get praised. As long as God know we doing a good deed because when I go do deeds and I don't, I don't glorify it to everyone else, I get blessed when I get in that square circle. That's why I keep winning. And that's what I have to tell every fighter. All you champions, cause you, you don't have to have a belt to be a champion in my eyes. To get something, you have to sacrifice something. And what I did, I put everything aside my whole life. Boxing has always been first. I never focus on anything but the guy that's in front of me. Because when it comes down to it, I always said this for many, many years, the fans cannot fight for you. And one thing I know I can do, I can fight. So uh, the fans, when they shout, scream, I, I don't worry about nothing. I just, you know, keep my composure and stick to the game plan. Constantly keep coming ahead, coming ahead, pushing him, pushing him, pushing him back, pushing him back. You know, um, when he first come out for the first 20 seconds of the, of the round, when he, go, when he go down, when he go back to his corner and he sit down, I said, when he come out, he gonna come out for 30 seconds and fight hard, and then he gonna break. And once he break, that's when I'm gonna shoot a hard shot to the body, hit him with a hard shot up top, and keep pushing him back, keep pushing him back. Remember, I told you guys, weight, weight doesn't win fights. Fighting wins fights. And then, you know, when I said, talking doesn't win fights, fighting wins fights. Meaning that when we was on the, you know, when we was on stage for the weigh-in, I don't have to do no more talking. We fighting tomorrow, so I did I did enough talking on our tour, basically. So you know, everybody said, "Oh, Mayweather, you was talking on the tour." Okay, I did I didn't I did a lot of talking on tour, but now it's time to fight. And life is priceless, and your health is your wealth. So a lot of times they say, "Floyd, won't you stick around boxing? You can make this, and you can make that. You can make this." Two, two years off, I could have made a ton of money. But remember, your health is your wealth. I never wanted, you know, as far as, you know, making weight, when you ask me about Cervante, Tank, making weight. <clears throat> He's young. But when I was young, I think I would have made those same mistakes if I didn't have my father in my life. You know, just being a coach that was extremely hard on me. You know, I think that if he didn't discipline me in boxing, I don't really know where, you know, how my career would have played out. You know, I didn't want to slack and I didn't want to seem irresponsible or not disciplined. So that's why I always, you got to sacrifice something to get something. So that's why I've always made sacrifices uh, to get to a certain level. And to get to the pinnacle, you got to make sacrifices. And that's what I did. My ultimate goal is to become a $100 million fighter. Once I seen guys like when Mike Tyson, and I seen it myself with my own eyes. When I seen that Bentley at the boxing gym, and I seen that diamond Rolex, I said, I want that. And I knew what it took. So I know when my opponent is asleep, I'm out there at four or five in the morning, chopping trees, working. To this day, because I can retire today, I'm well off, very comfortable but I got the will to win.